Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We are back in the garden and uh, we've had a great week so far and we are getting some chores done. As you can see, the garden is shining and everything is filled in so nicely for the midsummer. Um, we are gonna give you a tour soon as we keep on saying, but we just have a few plants to plant. So we're gonna plant some today. Today we're adding two beautiful bluebeard varieties to our garden. Now, if you've never grown bluebeards before, they are a shrub that grows with blooms that are sort of almost like a cone stacked on top of each other. Um, great pollinator attractor. It loves really, really well draining soil. If you plant it in a low lying area or an area that gets a lot of water, it can cause root rot, especially during the winter. So you wanna make sure you either amend the hole when you're planting it, or you plant it somewhere that already has really good well draining soil. Um, for us, you guys know that we have really hard clay in most of our garden, so it is a stretch planting this, so we're gonna make sure to amend the soil. Last year, we planted one Beyond Midnight Caryopteris, and it was beautiful. It survived the winter, it came back this spring, bloomed beautifully. This one has uh, dark blue to almost purple looking flowers. Um, pollinators love it. It is hardy zones five to nine. Um, and for those of you in five to six, you wanna make sure that the soil is really well draining so that you don't get that root rot during the winter and you lose your plant. And then you have to start all over next year. Um, for us, we just made sure to amend the soil, which we will do today as well. Yep. Um, and then the other variety that we'll be planting is called Beyond Pinked, and it is, of course, pink. So you'll have the same structure of the flowers, the little cones stacked on top of each other, um, but this time it's a very light pink color. Um, almost gives me like a cottage vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited to see it in bloom. Um, this one, however, is only hardy zone seven to nine. And you guys know that we're right on the cusp between seven to eight. So we're gonna make sure to put this not only in a well draining spot in our garden, but also a really hot spot in our garden. So that during the winter, we don't lose this one to a cold day or cold nights. Um, and hopefully it will be happy. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. All right, I think that's all the information you guys need to know about bluebeards. Let's get planting. All right, so we've got our Beyond Pinked Bluebeard all planted in our shed bed. And that space is sort of at the top of the hill in our garden. As you guys know, we have sort of a garden on a hill, and so it all flows away from the shed bed. So the Beyond Pinked should get really great drainage, and we even planted them up a little bit out of the ground so we can make sure that they don't have any sitting water underneath them, they drain really well, and we didn't really have to add any soil amendments over there. The Beyond Blue, we are planting at the bottom of our garden in our south side garden, and this is where all of the water in the whole garden drains to. So we always worry that anything we plant here that likes well draining soil is not gonna do well. So what we have here is just some uh, clay breaker um, soil conditioner that we had on hand. Um, we've added this as amendments in several places in our garden. We've used this as mulch in several places in our garden after we've done planting. It's really just pine bark, hummus, and compost. So we've also switched to our larger power planter auger here um, so that when I drill a hole, we can actually amend the native soil in with the clay breaker um, and have a layer sort of around the root ball. 
You guys know that we love our power planter augers. They make planting so much easier, especially in our clay soil. As you guys will see here, it's a little bit wet and it just has no problem breaking right through that soil. If you're interested in getting a power planter auger, visit the link in the description in this video um, and grab one there. Um, I'm gonna get to planting. All right guys, so we've got our bluebeard all planted in the ground in our shed bed and behind me in our south side garden. Yes, and they're looking really beautiful. Um, the beyond, I keep wanting to say beyond blue, <laughs> beyond midnight bluebeard is just about to bloom. There's little buds all over it. Um, and then the pink will come a little bit later. Uh, but before we go, I did want to talk about care of this plant a little bit. Um, I don't want you guys to be fearful of this plant because it is pretty easy, but there are some specific tips that you want to keep in mind when you're planting it. So as we mentioned, you want to either plant it up a little bit out of the ground so that water can go away from the crown of the plant or and amend the soil if it's not in a well draining spot. Um, as pruning is concerned, this does bloom on new wood. However, I would advise waiting until you see the buds emerge in the spring and you can cut down to where you see those buds emerge. You can cut in the fall, but if you cut too far down into the woody stems, you can um, open the plant up for disease or maybe not even blooming next spring. So my advice is wait until the spring. I know it's hard, but wait until you see those buds emerging and then you can go in and trim out any dead wood and then trim back to the new growth and then you'll have a big beautiful plant by the time we get to midsummer or late summer depending on your climate. Otherwise, it is a pretty easy care plant. It likes uh, well draining soil so you won't have to worry about flooding it with water every day um, and you'll have big beautiful blooms that the pollinators can come and enjoy. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's it for this video. I'm sure there's lots more planting to come, but we hope you guys have a great week. Um, if you like this video, be sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.